Good morning, welcome to another revision video from us here at High Tunstall College of Science. As always, going to start with a joke. So, the other day, um, I went fishing. I went fishing and I didn't have any uh, maggots for the bait, so I put some licorice on the end. But it was brilliant, I caught absolutely all sorts. Yes. Anyway, back to the bread and butter. Uh, we're here to talk today about uh, nutrition, uh, hydration and energy use. So starting with energy use. Um, for the specification, you need to know that energy is mentioned in kcals or calories. Um, and um, male, average male requires 2,500 calories a day and a female requires around about 2,000 per day. This can uh, differ depending on age because as you get older, uh, your BMR, which is a basal metabolic rate, um, is, has a lot less requirements than somebody uh, who is slightly younger. Um, gender, which I've mentioned, uh, men require more calories than women. Height, uh, taller people require more calories uh, for their BMR um, than smaller people. And obviously, athletes who exercise a lot will require more energy in their bodies to fuel the exercise that they are doing. Now, in addition, um, you need to know the um, contents of a balanced diet, which is around about 55% of carbohydrates, 30% of fat, and 15 to 20% of protein. Hopefully, we know that carbohydrates are the main uh, energy source within the body, um, that fat is also um, an energy source, but it's a slow-release energy source over longer periods of time, but also does provide insulation for the organs in the body. Um, proteins are required for growth and repair of muscular tissue, which is obviously important in a sporting context for athletes that are training at high intensity over long periods of time. Um, vitamins and minerals as well, um, also, they're basically in there to maintain the systems in the body and make sure that they work uh, effectively. In addition, regarding hydration, um, we your body um, is required to be hydrated to prevent dehydration. Now, dehydration can cause a lot of things, including uh, the thickening of blood, um, and increasing heart rate, so the work, heart can have to work a little bit harder to get that blood, thicker blood around the human body, um, an increase in body temperature, so the body can start to overheat. It can also lead to a slowing of reaction times and muscle feet fatigue and cramps. So that was uh, a balanced diet, hydration and energy usage. Thank you.